Poland. And I'm here with Steve Cheney. He's the uh, U.S. representative. He's a co-founder here in the U.S. And Eskimo has a brand new product, right? Why don't you describe what's going on? Yeah, yeah so Eskimo, um, we're, we think of the world leader in contextual computing. We launched actually uh, our first product at Disrupt three years ago, so almost to the day. So we've shipped uh, a lot of beacons worldwide across a lot of verticals. We have 75,000 developers that are building uh, contextual computing applications that are very creative that allow you to kind of have fine grain awareness of what your phone or what you're doing in a physical environment. Beacons are little little chunks that you can put somewhere and it actually transmits to your phone. Or They're tiny sensors, they use Bluetooth low energy and they basically transmit a signal in the background. Think about it as indoor GPS and a way to actually figure out kind of precisely what you're doing inside a physical environment. Right. Yeah. So what's the new product? Yeah, so the new product we're really excited about. Um, it extends what we think is beacons as kind of a really dumb device um, into video. So it's wireless plus video. It's a device that you plug into the back, and we're going to show you a demo a little bit later, uh, into an HDMI, HDMI port into a television. And it's running a processor in Bluetooth, and it allows phones and people and objects around it to send and broadcast information to the screen in a really natural way that allows you know, your, your situation, your, your uh, physical environment around you to react to you and what you're doing. This lets you turn like a TV into a interactive beacon system. So you could use this in a store, or where else could you use it? You could use it in an airport, you could use it in a retail environment, you could use it in a smart office. Think about how screens have always been very dumb. Why is that? Well, we take it for granted that the screens have never reacted to anything else except programming, right? And usually that's been fixed with a specific timestamp or you know channel orientation. Now, screens can sort of talk to you as you do and move, move around an environment. So in an airport example, instead of having 12 screens with every single flight listed, why not have a few with information that's more specific to users that... So I can just walk users. up to the Delta. screen and see where my flight was. You can see that, you can navigate to a gate, you can see, hey, like Starbucks is over there, you wanted to find that, right? So it's really relevant to you, and it doesn't mean that you have to pull your phone out of your pocket and do something special. Your phone can be in your pocket, yeah. So this is mostly commercial, and this is available now, or did you guys launch today? Uh, our prototypes are available now, we're beta testing with some big customers like Oracle, and now we're starting to kind of turn the fire on and, and you know, allow um, the community to kind of figure out how much they want this device. Hopefully we'll sell a lot and then we'll start shipping later this year. All right, Eskimo.com? Eskimo.com. All right, thanks a lot, Steve.